Hi everyone, welcome back to another journaling video and this one is just an update of everything that I've changed because I've changed a couple of things on my journal and if you hear facing is Milo just his little paws on the wooden floor uh, as I was saying I have made some changes into my journal um, in terms of the layout of the first pages uh, for example my bookshelf page I changed and I also changed my series tracker and I took out my books to read in 24 page uh, because it was not working uh, in there but I will do a new one uh, instead and you will see it in the wrap up at the end of the year because today I'll just show you the changes that I've made the other spreads that I made for the other months because I only updated you up until February and it's already August and today I'm also going to do my August um, wrap up hi Arisu <laughs> I'm going to do my August wrap up and although August is not over yet, I'm still going to do the wrap up um, because I know that I will finish a book for certain, which is The Hobbit that I'm listening to the audiobook. Uh, and I'm only like four to three hours away from the end, so I'm going to end that before the end of the month since it's the 29th and there are still two days but I'm not sure if I will be able to finish Blue Sisters which I'm also reading uh, but you know we'll just see uh, and I'll leave a space for it up in the corner and if I don't end up reading I'll just you know fill it up with stickers later or something and yeah let's just get started first a quick warning uh, when I open the first page it's a bit like beaten up in the middle like in the middle of the spine because since I had to glue some pages over my bookshelf um, page it looks kind of wonky but yeah you will see it in a second so this is my uh, what's it called like front page? I still haven't changed that this is remain just remains the same So then we turn into my bookshelf uh, Books read spread and this is I was saying like ignore these because Everyone everybody makes mistakes quoting Anna Montana um, and yeah, just You're not seeing this ignore this uh, but I had to make a new spread first because I was running out of space for my books because I set a goal of reading 35 books this year but I've already suppressed that and I think I'm at like 48 books or 40 something books already um, so I had to change that and had to had some other books in that those wouldn't fit into the other one that I had before. I'll insert like a picture here of what it used to be like since as you can see I couldn't add any more books um, that were already drawn. Uh, so yeah. This is my new spread. It's obviously inspired by Katie's reading spreads. Um, I decided just to finally do it and I don't care that it's like rough up in here. I'm just way happier with how this looks than the other one looked. And I finally have space to just put more books in it. I added some little potions in here, a teacup, just some candles some butterflies, a mirror, just a jar with flowers, a cat, some a pumpkin because we're entering fall and I love fall. Um, and yeah, the, oh, and some vines as well and just some stars and books read. And then up in here where it says wrap up, I'll just end up putting the total of books that I read in 2024. 
Now on to the next spread since I also changed this. I kept the alphabet challenge one because I still like this, the layout of this one but I wasn't liking the series tracker one and also there were some series that I put in there that I just ended up DNFing and I don't intend on continuing so I decided to make a new one with this kitties potion witchery kind of theme and I just kept the series that I actually want to keep on reading and finish so I have a good girl's guide to murder the naturals Aristotle and oh my god Aristotle and Dante which I've already finished Alex Stern which I already finished as well villains the raven boys all for the game series truly devious orange the manga and also the graphic novel the girl from the other side which i recently read the two volumes about a few days ago and i really really enjoyed it so i already know that i want to read the rest of the series um so yeah those were the big changes that i made in my journal and took out the books to read in 2024 and yeah, let's just skim over this since you have already seen it in the other video. This is my January spread, my February spread, and then I have some March memories from when I went to a K-pop party. This is when I filmed my journal uh, video. This is from my BTS readathon that I hosted, actually my first. Um, time hosting a readathon. This is just me and Mia. This is just me drinking tea and making a reading vlog. These were some books that I bought, middle grade books that I would like to read this fall. And this are just some random pictures of me when I dyed my hair in Milo with my Kindle and my new stickers that you can't actually see that well. And speaking of Milo, here he comes. Okay, okay, you're drooling, okay okay no so flipping over we have the march spread and this time i decided to just change the layout a bit on this one uh i did shorter reviews for the books that i read and then i did a little like longer review a little longer what and then i did a longer review for my favorite book of the month which was the bellwoods game uh, and then I just continue to add like one single page saying the month that the wrap up was um, and then the total of books, pages and hours like I used to and this is just a really cute pastry theme stickers that I use on this journal are from the same shop and it's me and Puki Maki shop you can just find the link down in the description. This was what I read in March and what I thought of the books that I read in yeah. Okay, so this is the April wrap up and for this I decided to go just a completely different layout because I read a lot of mangas but then I read a lot of novels as well. So although this isn't um a manga, uh, I still put it in here because there is a manga adaptation and let's be honest, it didn't fit on this page and look better on this one so I put it on this one uh, but I read a lot of great books this month and I also did a readathon, participating in a readathon so that's why I read uh, more books than less did, like the previous month in March and I really like this spread, like the Sakura theme is just mm, just amazing. I love this theme so much. For this spread, this is something that I just wanted to put for the readathons that I participated in. And this was Katie's Readings Readathon, 48 hour readathon. Um, I will open this just to show you like the books that I read. Uh, I'm not going to show you what the prompts were since I don't want to just uh, put uh, Katie's exclusive Patreon uh, paid for content um, up in here, but I did read The Moth Keeper, A Silent Voice, and Coraline for the readathon, and I loved Coraline so so much. I just I I can't believe that I haven't read this um, sooner. And it, it's actually a shame, but I never actually watched the movie as well. So uh yeah <laughs> these were the books that i read for katie's readathon and we had such a blast participating on that readathon 
And then this is my BTS readathon that I hosted. As I said, this was the first readathon that I hosted. And the books that I read are in here. Let's just check them out. So the books that I read were A Spindle Splintered, Alice in Borderland Volume 2, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, Orange the Complete Volume or Collection Volume 1, um, Ice Guy and the Cool Girl Volumes um, 1 and 2, Yellow Face by RF Kuang, which became a 5 star, uh, Burn the House Down, which is actually uh, now um, a Netflix adaptation, which I really, really need to watch. The Bellwoods Game and City of Ghosts. So these were the books that I read from my own readathon. I had a lot of fun hosting this readathon and everyone was so nice and I just loved that everyone shared their posts and everything on Instagram. And by the way, if you want, you can follow me on Instagram since I post a lot on there. So yeah. Then this was a time that I decided to just change the whole layout of my uh, wrap-ups and just do one month per page. Uh, and by like for now, this is working perfectly for me, but I already have plans for my 2025 journal, uh, which will be different. But for now, this is what I'll keep until the end of the year. I hope so. Um, but this is my May spread and this was like strawberry jam theme uh, since it was the beginning of spring and we have another five star which is I hope this doesn't find you Coraline like I said uh, the box in the woods which eh, it wasn't bad it just it was meh like I said um, a silent voice one and volume two which I really liked I already watched the the movie so I already know the story but I really like to just read the, um, the mangas and they are very very nice I read this one which was recommended on Katie's patreon by a lot of people and it's it was just super short but super funny so it deserved a 4.5 star um, and then I have the most disappointing book, which was The Moth Keeper. Uh, I really like the Tea Dragon Society books a lot. And I thought that this one would be like that series, but it just wasn't and didn't have a lot of like, I don't know, it didn't, I didn't connect with the character. Just, I didn't really care about any of the plot. So I gave it up three stars and yeah. For June, we started a series that I think will be an obsession of mine. And actually two series that will be two of my obsessions, which are The Foxhole Court and A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I just, I didn't think I would like this. I just started reading this ironically uh, and I ended up giving it a four star. I just, I liked it. I, I really, really liked it. And I'm actually reading the second book now, which I'm also liking. So yeah that ending was woof i finally finished the alex turn series by reading hellbent which was like it was good but as i said in here it was it was kind of disappointing because uh it was just way too much information and way too many plot lines in one book and it just got kind of confusing and to wait too long and mm, I just really liked Ninth House but this one just really wasn't for me and for the theme we just went for some butterflies because again spring and this is the last spread that I made which was for July um, in July I did end up reading six books and all of them were like not not all of them all of them except one were either thrillers or horror books so I read Bunny which was confusing and weird but I loved it so it was a five star uh, like I said I did also read Good Girl Bad Blood which is a second to a Good Girl's Guide to Murder which was perfect and I loved it a lot another five star this one, I hated it. I it was just, ugh, just ugh. I'll make you like, um, what's it called? Uh, a full on review when I make my wrap up of my summer reads. 
uh, but yeah, I just didn't like it. Then I listened to the Get a Life Chloe Brown audiobook. I love the characters a lot, I truly connected to them, but it was just way too much cringy smut. Um, yeah, that didn't work for me at all, so ends the rating. And then I read Sadie, which was good, but I did expect more, so I gave it a three stars. And I also started another series, which was The Naturals, and I really, really liked it, like 4.5 solid. Just, I can't wait to continue this series. So now it's time for the August spread. And for this one, I will be using some stickers that are... 18 because if you didn't know my birthday was this month in august and i just want to do a birthday team since i already have the stickers it fits perfectly so let's just get on with it i won't really talk to this part of, in this part of the video so yeah i'll just speed this up <laughs> So my phone stopped recording, but luckily I got to the, through the whole journal uh, and was just finishing up this uh, page, the wrap up for August. And to be honest, not one of my favorite pages, although it's my birthday month page. Um, I don't know, something went wrong here, so I had to just cut up this um, craft paper thingy and do this and I don't know I just like compared to this I prefer this um, this spread much more to this spread but it's okay it's fine it's done <laughs> uh, as I said I kept this one here taped up with um, washi tape I didn't actually like glue it on like the other ones uh, because I'm not sure if I'll finish it in time, like before the month ends. Uh, so we'll see. If I don't, I'll just fill it up with more stickers that I have left of these uh, birthday stickers. And yeah, this is what my journal currently looks like. This was the video. I can't wait to get a new journal for 2025, honestly. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I want to change everything, but I, I'm still happy with these, um, these spreads, but I just want to try out a new style and new stickers, uh, although I still love these stickers by Mian and will still, of course, buy them, but yeah, I just want to try something new, you know, <laughs> and I keep seeing amazing inspirations by other booktubers, so yeah. And I cannot wait to do a spread of a bookshelf that doesn't look like this in the middle. <laughs> but that's okay because there's a cute cat, there's a pumpkin, there's a potions, there's a mirror. It's, a, it's fine, it's fine. It's just a journal for me, myself, that I'm choosing to 
just share with you so it's okay <laughs> okay hope you like this video don't forget to comment like subscribe follow me on insta and yeah bye